Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your ASUS router. And before starting, if this video helps, please support me. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below. So the first thing that you will need to do is to turn on your router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into an outlet and the other into the router. Then press the power button. When the router is turned on, the power indicator will be lit. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, plug the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem into a special internet port. This port is usually labeled as internet and usually it has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it snaps into place. Now you need to restore the router to its factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait until the indicator lights on the router start flashing. At times, this button is found inside the router casing to prevent it from being pressed by mistake. In this case, use a slim object to press it down. The router will restart and the settings will go back to their original factory defaults. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into one of the LAN ports. And plug the other end of the cable into your computer's Ethernet port. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, we've connected the router to your computer. Now, you will need to set it up. But first, let me show you another way to connect the router if you do not have an Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port. Connect the router to the power adapter and cable from your Internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If your router is new and hasn't been set up, your Wi-Fi network will be named after the router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a sticker. Connect to it. Awesome, you've connected to the router. Now let's get it set up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log into the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed, just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, come up with a new login and password to access the router's admin panel. Next, click on this button. Here you can choose the language of the router's admin panel. 
I will leave it in English. Next, let's move on to the router settings. To do this, click on this button. Wait until it finishes checking the connection type. On the next page, you can change the name and password of your Wi-Fi network. You can keep the default credentials, but to change them, click here. Create a new name and password. Pay attention to the password requirements and save the settings. On the next page, you will see all your Wi-Fi information. Click on this button. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network. If you want to change the name and password of your Wi-Fi network in the future, you can do it here. Now you need to reboot your router. Wait a couple of minutes until the router is fully powered on. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, you can try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go back into the router's admin panel. Then go to the WAN section. And on this page, click the MAC clone button. Save the settings. Reboot the router again. After a couple of minutes, when the router is fully powered on, check again if the internet is working. Just try Googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If you found my video helpful, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below.